Okay. A very delightful day to everyone present here. I am Siddhi Joshi, a shining star in the guise of the human body, who dreams of a brighter future with hopes in her eyes and active engagement in her heart. So the title of my presentation today is Just If, Provisional Justice or Justice for All. Today, we live in a world where justice is conditional, where how someone gets punished or if they get punished at all depends on who they are rather than what they did. And therefore, the word justice today has become just if. The word if implying that justice is conditional rather than being fair. So raise your hand if you are aware about the incident the wonders of George of culture Floyd. And nature. Can I please request you See to use the feature on your Zoom app and raise your hand high and forth if you know why America is burning right now. George Floyd, a name that has become synonymous with the fact that sadly racism exists even today. But George Floyd isn't the only name. Racism isn't the only crime, and Americans aren't the only ones affected. The entire world is suffering today. Some people are struggling with ongoing wars, while others are struggling with the aftermath of one. Some are fighting, while others have already lost their fight. Some are united, while some find themselves alone in broad daylight. We all are wishing for someone to come and save the day for all of us. But do we ever realize that we too are someone for someone else? We all have a spine. We all have a voice. We might convey it differently. But in the end, we all have what it takes, each one of us, to stand and announce that we are not stopping until we change. So what is justice? Justice is simply the act of doing what is righteous inclined with the spirit of humanity. So to put simply, justice is merely the sensitivity to others being mistreated and helping others see the truth of their suffering. And in this process, ensuring that, that those who cause this injustice are not sheltered away. Now, the most important question is, how do we start the change from our own houses? Here is what helped me and I believe can help you too. Number one, listen to learn. Take time to feel the plight of those dealing with injustice. Feel it from a point of understanding and to eventually fuel it into your action. Number two, empathize, which means keep yourself in the shoe of the one who is suffering so as to understand their plight and their pains. Number three, act. You will have to put in work, you will have to read, learn, listen, so as to gather information. It might be hurtful or contradictory to how you grew up. It may challenge the jokes you laugh at or the beliefs of your very own family members. But we must take the action in our present capacity, despite the discomfort it may cause. Because taking action is not about doing what's, what's uh, what's impossible, but about doing what's simple, what's accessible, powerful enough to start a chain of impact. Number four, unite. Once you have taken action, just be consistent at it and unite others who share the vision of a just society. Change your own world and then simply send the same goal, same energy forward. Number five, spread. When you become passionate about learning something, you can't help but share it. When you're excited about a great novel or a great play, you can't help but tell your friends about it. When you start learning about these injustices around you and work on changing them, walking towards a path of revolution, it's gonna be not easy, but don't, don't let that stop you. Let your voice be heard loud and be bold to those around you. Just take one step at a time and suddenly a positive world is something that is within our reach. Last but not the least, hope. As hard as it is to hold on to all of this, you do not have to be who you used to be. You, know, you don't have to think the way you used to think. You don't have to dream what you used to dream. You're free to take thoughtful action into the pursuit of better things. In the end, I would like to end with the words of the legendary Martin Luther King Jr. Let not finite disappointment stop you from having infinite hope. Thank you so much, friends.
for being so kind and thoughtful about listening to my presentation and giving us chances. Let's create a more justful world for all of us. Thank you.